Hi, year two. So we're on English for Monday the 8th um, of February. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Um, today we are going to be looking at adverbs. Now we have done verbs in class, so we know that a verb is a doing word or an action, so to run, to jump, to skip. This also interlinks in with our uh, current learning English, doing our playground games. Uh, so today we're going to look at adverbs. An adverb uh, is a word type that describes how a verb is done. So this will become a little bit more clearer now. To sort the words into a table. So down here we've got different words. We've got drive, we've got softly, we've got talk, we've got kindly, nastily, laugh, merrily and fly. It's asking us here to sort the words into verbs and into adverbs. Now then, something that might make this easy for you is if you put two in front of the word. So to drive, to talk, to fly, that all makes sense. However, if you're saying to softly, to kindly, that doesn't make sense. So that should help you in being able to identify the verbs and the adverbs. And now we should really know as well what our actions or doing words. So if we look here, this has sorted the verbs and the adverbs into the table. So the verbs, we've got drive, talk, laugh and fly. Then the adverbs that describe how the verb is done, we've got softly, kindly, nastily and merrily. Right, so this is asking, complete the sentence below with an adverb from the word bank that makes sense. So it's fantastic when you are starting to use adverbs in your sentences, but they must make sense. There's no point putting a random one in there that doesn't make any sense. It says, Annabelle wrote, mm -mm, because she was writing an important letter. Down here, you have got the choice of four adverbs. We've got fiercely, neatly, fast, unhappily. Thinking about which word fits the best in that sentence, I'll just let you have a think. It's going to be neatly. So like myself and Miss Burr ask you to do your neatest writing. Um, Annabelle was writing neatly because she was writing an important letter. Okay, doc, this one is saying true or false. Both of the adverbs below can be added to the sentence. Do you mm -mm, go abroad in the summer holidays or would you rather stay at home? You've got the choice of two adverbs there. You've got usually or weekly. Have a little think. I think that's pretty obvious, that one, isn't it? Usually. So it's false because the adverb weekly doesn't make any sense. So there's no point putting it in there. Choose the most suitable adverb. From the word banks, the sentence makes sense. The oak tree started to shake mm -mm, because the wind was very strong. So we've got seriously, daily or violently. The choice of three adverbs on the bottom there. Um, I very much doubt that the oak tree was shaking seriously. Um, I think the best choice in there is violently, which means it's really shaking like it has been doing uh, over this weekend with the storm coming. Okie doc. Today in your writing, we are going to be identifying adverbs, going to be using your own adverbs and then thinking of your own adverbs relating to playground games. So putting them into context and making sure that they make sense. So the work will be on your learning from home sheet. Try your best. And I've also got one of the BBC bite size videos for you to watch as well, because I know that you like those. Okie doke, everybody. Try your best. Make sure you're handing your work in on portfolio. Um, and I look forward to seeing it at the end of the day. Thank you.